Good morning, students. In eleventh standard, we studied about the sum of the human body systems. Now, in twelfth standard, we are going to study about the sum of the human body systems, which are not included in eleventh standard. In case of human being, the basic structural and functional unit is cell. The group of cell it forms tissue. Group of tissue form organs. And when number of organs combines together, they form a system. And number of system forms the human body. Now in eleventh standard, we studied about the human nutrition that is digestive system of the human being. Also we studied about the excretory system. Then we also studied about the skeletal system of the human body. Along with this system, human body includes the next one system that is respiratory system. Also it includes circulatory system. Besides this, it also includes nervous system. After the nervous system, it also includes the endocrine system. Now, from this, digestive system is completed, excretory system is completed, and skeletal system is completed in eleven standards. In twelve standard, the respiratory system and circulatory system. These two systems are combined under the chapter number eight. named as respiration and circulation in old syllabus of 12th these two are the separate chapters now from these two chapters today we are going to study about the first one chapter that is respiration now in case of the respiration we know that in simple meaning the respiration means intake of air and exhaling of air now intake of air this air consists of oxygen and exhaling of air which consists of co2 simply respiration means intake of oxygen and exhaling of the co2 now this definition is mechanical definition actually respiration it is a biochemical process see what is respiration respiration is a biochemical process now in this biochemical process the organic compound for example the glucose molecule this glucose molecule it is oxidized for the liberation of chemical energy see the respiration is a biochemical process in which organic compounds like glucose molecule it is oxidized and after the oxidation chemical energy is released now this chemical energy it is in the form of atp molecule which molecule atp molecule this atp means it is adenosine triphosphate molecule and this adenosine triphosphate molecule it is called as energy currency of the cell because for different life processes in case of every living organism for different life processes energy is required and this energy it is accepted by the cell only in the form of atp molecule now 
whatever food we taken this food is digested into simple form of the food but this simple form of food it is not directly accepted by our cell it is necessary this simple food it is oxidized in the form of atp molecule this process is called as respiration if you observe the equation equation see the glucose molecule that is c6 h12 o6 that is glucose molecule and this molecule is oxidized that is in the presence of oxygen and after the completion of process there is release of six carbon dioxide molecule then six water molecule and formation of 38 atp molecules now most important thing is that when one glucose molecule is oxidized from this one glucose molecule there is formation of 38 atp molecules and these 38 atp molecules it is the chemical form of energy hence it is called as energy currency of the cell now in case of the equation the single sentence question may be asked that is write the chemical equation of the respiration or question may be asked that is how many molecules of atp form from the oxidation of one glucose molecule simple answer is that one glucose molecule is oxidized and there is liberation of 38 atp molecules now in case of the respiration when oxidation takes place for the respiration there is requirement of gaseous exchange when food is oxidized this oxidation takes place in the presence of oxygen now this oxygen or liberation of co2 this two gaseous exchange it takes place through the different respiratory surfaces this is one of the most important point that is in case of each and every living organism the respiratory surfaces are different now actually respiratory surfaces means what these are nothing but the sites that is places through which exchange of gases takes place means respiratory surfaces are nothing but the sites where gaseous exchange takes place now in case of the respiratory surfaces for example we consider the unicellular animals in case of unicellular animals the body surface acts as the respiratory surface if we consider the larger animals in case of larger animals their outer body surfaces or outer surface of skin it acts as the respiratory surface if you consider in case of the suppose fishes in case of fishes we observe the respiratory organs such as gills in case of arthropoda we can observe the book lungs through which the respiratory exchange takes place now whatever the respiratory surfaces takes place through which diffusion or gaseous exchange takes place now what happened in case of this respiratory surfaces there are certain features of this respiratory surface first one feature is that this respiratory surfaces it must have large surface area this is the first feature that is respiratory surfaces must have large surface area second one 
that is these surfaces they must be thin and highly vascular and also these surfaces must be moist means in case of the respiratory surfaces in case of animals different organs are present which works as the respiratory surfaces as like the different animals in case of the plants the respiratory exchange it also takes place with the help of stomata means in case of plants also there is gaseous exchange it takes place with the help of the stomata now these stomata means these are nothing but the minute pores which are present on the leaves also it takes place through the root tissues in case of aerated soil through the root tissues also gaseous exchange takes place and in terrestrial plants sometimes gaseous exchange it takes place through the minute pores which are present on the barks and these minute pores are called as lenticels okay now in this just we studied about the concept of respiration that is what is mean by respiration and which are the respiratory surfaces present in animals and in case of the plants so first one we studied about the definition of respiration that is respiration is a biochemical process in which the organic compounds are oxidized and there is liberation of the chemical energy in the form of atp molecule if you observe the equation c6h12o6 plus 6 oxygen there is liberation of 6 carbon dioxide molecule 6 water molecules and 38 atp molecules atp that is adenosine triphosphate molecule these are called as energy currency of the cell in case of gaseous exchange different respiratory surfaces are present and these surfaces they must have large surface area these surfaces must be thin highly vascular and they must be moist and in case of the plants these respiratory surfaces it includes stomata these are the minute pores present on the leaves secondly also respiratory exchange takes place through the root tissues and third one through the barks that is lenticel okay now depending upon these points the single sentences and mcqs may be asked which will be given for you in the homework you have to solve all these questions in written and if is there any doubt you can ask thank you